Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. How to find Mars during this week's annual celebration of the great Mars myth and misunderstanding. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I'd like to replay the opening of the Stargazer episode for the last week of August 2003. And please keep in mind that this is only a repeat of an episode which aired exactly six years ago this week. Mars closer to Earth this week in almost 60,000 years. Only Neanderthal man has ever seen it this bright. Greetings, greetings, and yes, this is the week we've been waiting for, the week when Mars is closer to Earth and brighter than it's been since 57,617 BC. And you can see it all night long. Let me show you. So that is what was happening with Mars six years ago this week. But for some reason, every year in late July and early August, misinformation with international coverage on the web says it's happening all over again this week and that Mars will be so close it will look as large as the full moon. But please, folks, such is not the case. And even back in 2003, Mars never looked as large as the full moon. Back then, it was reported that Mars would look as large as the full moon, but only if you magnified it 75 times in a telescope. Even so, when Mars is magnified 75 times in a telescope, it still doesn't really look as big as a full moon because of human perception quirks. As NASA's Dr. Tony Phillips says, to see Mars as big as a full moon, you'll need a rocket ship. So, please don't get fooled by the great Mars myth and misunderstanding, which will probably pop up every August until doomsday. But Mars is out there, and it really does look nifty. Want me to show you how to find it? Okay, simply go outside about 5 a.m. any morning this week, and next, look due east, and just above the horizon, you will see the brightest planet of them all, Venus, which is super dazzling. But if you look up into its right, you'll also see much dimmer ruby gold Mars. And in case you're wondering what the difference is between Mars this August and August 2003, well, on August 27th, 2003, when Mars was at its closest, it was only 34 and a half million miles away. This week, however, Mars is much farther away, 152 million miles away, which means that it is 117 and a half million miles farther away this week than in 2003. Plus, it is 40 times dimmer. But it is still wonderful to see because it is the planet where so much Earth activity is occurring, both on its surface in the form of rovers and around it in the form of orbiters. Indeed, we know a lot more about Mars now than we did six years ago and have much better close-ups. And as I reminded you, at the end of that show in 2003, you can sometimes tell the general weather on Mars just by looking at its color. Generally speaking, if weather conditions are clear on Mars, Mars will look more red than gold because we will be able to see its rusty surface. But if a planet-wide dust storm whips up, as happens frequently, the reddish surface color will be obscured and Mars will look more yellow gold. Remember, red means clear weather on Mars and yellow means a humongous dust storm. So enjoy Mars at its not closest in 60,000 years this week. Keep looking up. <laughs>